our last speaker of the competition is Nimra Firdos. Nimra Firdos, please come on stage. Nimra Firdos. We take you to the valley of Jammu and Kashmir, where flowers have been replaced by guns, where a human life hardly exists. Where men have lost their spirit, where women have lost their smile, where children have lost their laughter. Weep softly, O mother, weep softly. For we still have our pride. Silence, everyone, silence. Close your eyes, make a wish, make a wish, Mr. President, make a wish. That someday Muhammad bin Qasim visits, someday Sultan Mahmood Ghaznavi come and see what is happening out there in the valley of Jammu and Kashmir and put my brothers and sisters out of the cell and make my Kashmir a true heaven like once it was. Yes, Mr. President, like once it was. In this current scenario, so-called United Nations are united to say nothing and do nothing and oh, I say just oh. I see. And Kashmir issue is the symbol of UN failure. Yes, Mr. President, Kashmir issue is the symbol of UN failure. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a proud Kashmiri and proud sister of all those who are fighting with the brutal forces in the valley of Jammu and Kashmir. So let me tell them that my brave brothers, the son of Sal, will demolish enemies' ego, power, and pride into hell. And remember, if they have started a war against the warriors, in the end, they will have nothing but regret. Yes, Mr. President, they will have nothing but regrets. Ladies and gentlemen, let me share some statistics of human rights abuses compiled by some international organizations, such as UNCHR, Kashmir Media Service, and Amnesty International, working in the domain of human rights. KMC alone exposed that since January 1989, Around about 100,000 Kashmiris have been killed. 10,000 have been disappeared. 7,1401 have been killed. Furthermore, 751 women, yes, Mr. President, 751 women have been killed by bloody Indian armed forces. Ladies and gentlemen, vote tight. Vote by listing the number of poor Kashmiris suffering in the valley of Chamu in Kashmir. It's okay, Mr. President. It's okay. It's perfectly all right for you because it's not like your family and you have not seen the pleasure of your family when you liked it yet. So it's okay. I know. No one's truly care. Because for the rest of the world, it's all about the peace of land. Yes, Mr. President. It's all about the peace of land. They love Kashmir, but not Kashmiris. So it's okay for them. If someone being killed, being molested, being injured, being raped, it's okay for them. Not for us. Not for me, neither for you. Yes, Mr. President, neither for you. But when I see the smiling faces and expressions, while someone saying or telling what is happening in the valley of Chammu and Kashmir, I really feel sorry. I really feel sorry for all those poor souls who laid their life for freedom, who laid their life for raising slogan that Kashmir banega Pakistan, ban ke rehega Pakistan. Pakistan ka matlab kya? La ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah. But Mr. President, we are too much busy in our problems and our social and political issues. We don't have time to set this problem in our agenda. But ladies and gentlemen, it's time to do something. Yes, it's time to do something that's truly matter. We have to redesign our strategies. We have to change our attitude as it is need of all. And if we keep staying on back foot, believe me, Mr. President, believe me, history will never forgive us. And on the day of judgment, God will ask us that your poor sisters and brothers were treated inhumanly in the valley of Jammu and Kashmir. And what you have done for them? Nothing but nothing. They are fighting with chains, they are playing with flame. They are doing it for many years. Treat them like humans, they are not your slaves. They demand nothing but the demand of freedom. They demand freedom of race and religion. Show your guts, give them their place. As you claim your biggest democrats, you cannot stop them, they are brave. They do not lose hope, soon they will get freedom with race. With the hope of freedom, we will rise again, inshallah.
Thank you so much.